there are so many conversations around like when to use rag or fine tuning or do pre-training from scratch or quote unquote prompt engineering. So I'm just wondering what type of issues would make you think about doing prompt engineering, rag, fine tuning, pre-training from scratch, and how do you choose between all these techniques? Um, yeah, I would say it depends on, of course, uh, the application, but you know, like, um, if you use something like ChatGPT, then yeah, your only option is uh, essentially prompt engineering, right? <laughs> and so, or if you're interested in like an LLM that can respond specifically to, I don't know, you have like the PyTorch Lightning documentation and it's too long to read or too complicated and you want the LLM to digest it for you and you have a question like, in PyTorch Lightning, how do I X, Y, Z? Uh, you could see if it can answer. Uh, you don't need to do anything else. And, you know, because actually I, I tried it a couple of times. It is pretty good at that. But now let's say you have a more specific software library or in-house product that has not been on the internet. So you so the LLM has not been pre-trained on that. So it doesn't know anything about that, um, let's say software, like maybe some proprietary data. So what you could do then is you could um, see uh, if you can fit the document that you're asking questions about into the context. So you can maybe upload it. There you have to be a bit careful. I would probably not do that on ChatGPT if it's a proprietary document because yeah, it maybe can't leave your computer. You don't know what's yeah, happening with the data if it leaves the computer. So in that case, you might also consider a local LLM where you run your local LLM, um, try to fit the data you are questioning um, or you have questions about into the context. If it fits and re returns a good response, yeah, maybe that's sufficient. You don't have to do anything else, but then maybe um, it can't answer the question. So in that case, it might make sense to uh, apply a rack system where you chunk up the text and then you build, can do that usually in memory, uh, have a database, uh, indexed uh, beta database that you can refer, or the LM can refer to, find similar chunks and then synthesize the response based on that. Uh, where it's getting you around the context um, input uh, limitation, the size. But then, yeah, if you do that a lot, you know, if you do that every day and you have really high demand on a really good LLM that uh, answers questions for that type of thing, you might think about at some point <laughs> about pre-training the LLM. Maybe, maybe that helps additionally or even fine-tuning it for certain instructions that you often tend to ask. In addition to the rack, maybe that has uh, additional benefits. So I think it comes down to also a low effort uh, prompting to medium effort building that rack system because that is a few extra steps it's not much but it is a few extra steps and then most effort would be pre-training basically like this kind of it's almost like a cost scale or effort you have to put into it scale but then also yeah it, it, it needs to be worth it i think the pre-training it's uh, something i would not do routinely it's a lot of um, work yeah and uh, not right not as cheap as prompting <laughs> yeah fantastic um, I like that rank ordering of, you know, doing things when you need to at, at a certain point, mm -hmm. but trying the, the easier and less computationally intensive things first. Um